A great design tool will ease your pain as a designer, but it is already hard to find the right one for the right job. That is why in this video I will compare two different design products, Sketch and Figma, on four different categories and will give you my opinion on which one you should use. The last criteria is the most important one, so make sure you watch it till the end. In today's world, designers are not working solo anymore, so it is very important to collaborate with other people. I believe Figma is ahead in terms of the collaboration criteria compared to Sketch because it doesn't need a specific operating system to work on, unlike Sketch which relies on iOS. Also, it allows the designer and other editors to actually use the live in comment functionality which lets you review the work you see already on the screen which actually gives designers feedback instantaneously. When it comes to pricing Figma offers a free plan so if you are a designer who doesn't want to take advantage of the advanced functionality such as publishing your own design system you can use Figma freely whereas in Sketch you only have 30 days of free usage, then you have to actually pay for it monthly. While this is actually in favor of Figma, when it comes to the paying, Sketch is actually 25% cheaper than Figma. It actually requires you to pay $9 a month instead of the $12 with the same functionality. So if you are looking for the best bank for your buck and you don't need much collaboration features, Sketch seems to be a pretty good choice here. When it comes to resources, while Figma has made great strides, because Sketch was already founded earlier, it had much more time to establish great plugins and resources. Whether you need something to actually export or you need a wireframe UI kit as a resource, Sketch has got you covered. While Figma also offers these plugins and resources, they are not as robust because they just didn't have enough time to actually settle in yet. Now, I would like to share with you a survey that is done by UX Tools in 2021 that actually had thousands of designers partake in. It also took designers that were full-time professionals ranging from one to two years of experience to 10 plus year experience and it asked what kind of design tools they preferred and for UI design and prototyping it didn't even come close Figma took the first place in both of those categories. It is important that as a designer you work in the most popular tool because when you are going to be looking for a new job or let's say you are looking to get new clients chances are they are going to be using the most popular tool for the job so in terms of popularity and user base Figma wins this round. Now, if you are the type of a designer who needs a product that will support collaboration and you also want to, let's say, don't have much money and you want to use it for freely, you can pick Figma. If you're a designer who is going to be working much more one-on-one -on -one with your clients and you don't want to pay as much down the road to access to the full features that the design tool offers, I would actually pick Sketch over Figma. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and if you want to know which one is better, Adobe XD or Figma, please click on this video next.